Hello, my name is Philo, and this is now a continuation of, of part two of what I just discussed in the first video about a full full moon and what we should do. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a money spell. Money spells are potent. They're the most they're the most most powerful during the moon month so when you want to do a money spell the right time for you to do a money spell is on the full moon and tomorrow i mean which is today the 5th of july is going to be a full moon so obviously this is the right time for anyone who wants to manifest money to pull up bangers into their lives to create for them um to create for them an existence or you know this is the right time for you to do a money spell so Let's dive, let me dive straight away into the juicy stuff of what you're supposed to do and what you need. So for this money spell, I'll be talking about, we'll be needing a green candle because green is always a symbol of money. A green candle, like this candle that I have, this is already dressed with cinnamon with so many things, but you don't necessarily have to have a, a, a candle dressed with everything you could buy a green candle and then you buy prosperity oil or cinnamon cinnamon oil and then you dress it you you dress it you, you take cinnamon oil and you apply going this way because you're attracting to yourself so you apply the oil upwards okay you now your candle is ready when your candle is ready you put it there all right then the next step you need a, a parchment paper because you, you want to be sure that you set your intention right. You set your intention right and you visualize. So you write on this on this paper exactly like for example the amount of money that you you are you want to attract to yourself and the amount of money that you want to manifest. So you okay for me for, for example, let me show you like what I wrote on yeah, like I wrote a hundred thousand. But obviously, we 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 all have different needs. We all have different goals, and I have my own goal. And I there's a reason why I'm writing a hundred thousand. I'm not going to explain in this video. I'll explain in another video. All right. So you you know for yourself what how much money you want to manifest and what what is your financial need at the moment. So you take up it. Use blue. Don't use black. Use blue. To write all that like blue like ten thousand tak 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 and you know some few things like just say to intent straight straight to the point and visualize put your intent in there on that full moon and write that on that paper after you've written all that on that paper so you put it in a place in a place where you which is safe like you're not gonna cause fires or disturbances if you have kids in your home make sure it's a place where kids are not gonna go there to tamper with the fire and burn the whole house so and you take that candle and for, for example the a candle that burns for like 14 days or 21 days you could take a candle that takes burn for 14 days normally 21 days is better so you, you write your intent and you focus that intent after you've written that intent. So you put the candle on top of that paper like that. And that will be in a specific place in your house where it is going to burn for the entire 21 days or 14 days. And I recommend 21 days because you are setting an intent. And you are calling to the universe and actually a whole cycle of a moon takes 28 days so we're giving it at, le a, some, at least three weeks time in which every day you are setting forth your intention and you're calling upon this intention and visualizing to have this that this um to visualizing for your for, for that for for your for your spell to manifest all right so you're not talking of I mean, you 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 want to to make sure that you're giving the universe enough time and you're giving yourself enough time to put in the effort to visualize. Sometimes spells manifest faster. It just depends. Sometimes faster depends on the intent and it depends on yourself actually. 
so you you'll have dark paper on a place and put in there and you light your candle sometimes other people write on the candle you can as well if you want carve on the candle the exact amount that you are you want the universe to pull to you if it is ten thousand you write ten thousand if it is twenty thousand you write twenty thousand if it's five hundred pounds or five hundred dollars you write five whatever it is that whatever your goal you know your your your, your whatever it is whatever it is that is you know you deems fit for you as a financial need or whatever i mean it has to be reasonable it has to be relevant to your need i mean you don't go and write okay i want two billion and you don't you know the kind of jobs you're doing or the kind of whatever whatever you're doing is not you have to write something that you know that it is within the limits of your circle and you're able to get that money or even though even if you exaggerate a bit then you have to give it more time to to manifest because it means like for me i'm using the 10x rule for the ground cotton this in the print one like if you want ten thousand, you have to 10 exits for example so that you say instead of you know but then you also have to give it realistic time frame a realistic time frame within which you expect this goal to have manifested all right so let's go now now that i have my intent and i have this I'm gonna light my candle. Okay. The full moon is the best time for you to to do all these things. Full moon. Oh my God, why is it why is it not why is it not okay? I'm going to be putting in that because I don't want it to fall down like a glass that is stable and and surely then my intention is already set and I put it on there okay and since I sleep and live in this bedroom here, I'm gonna put it next to my bed. So when when it's burning, that intention, I mean, I'm focusing my energy. And when I'm sleeping, I, it's like my intent. And then you, you know, the intent is being set forth, let's see. Okay. Either you can carve all that there, the amount like going down 10,000, 100, or whatever, 100,000, whatever amount you choose that is fit for you and then you lay that candle be there all right so that is how to dress a, a money candle sorry that's how to dress a money candle a money candle spell on a full moon and say to intention and visualize meditate take the time to meditate to clear your the energies in your home and see yourself getting that money right so and alongside with this alongside with this candle in my previous video i talked about affirmations so you gotta be doing affirmations to go alongside with this so powerful i'm going to to, uh, to now to to, to the 16 most powerful money affirmations that will make you wealthy these are the 16 powerful money affirmations. So you'll be speaking those affirmations. Say each one three times in the morning and three times in the night. So number one, there are 16. So I'm going to read each of them. So you read number one for, 16, for, for three times in the morning and the same number one three times in the night before you sleep and the candle is burning. You're setting your intent and the second one affirmation you read on the second day in the morning when you wake up three times in the morning and three times in the night and the third one like that up to 16 days all right so here are the 16 powerful money affirmations that will make you 
wealthy. Number one, I am worthy of having more wealth. Number two, financial freedom is my birthright. Number three, money comes to me easily and harmoniously. Number four, I'm a powerful money magnet. Number five, my net worth is growing exponentially. Number six, I'm grateful to be fin financially free. Number seven, my life is full of prosperity and abundance. Number eight, I'm thriving and wealth. I'm a thriving and in, 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 in a wealthy person. Number nine, my financial opportunities are lucrative and plentiful. Number number ten, money is rooted in good and leads to peace. Number 11, I'm the master of my own money. Number 12, my loved ones are happy to see me wealthy. Number 13, being wealthy feels amazing. Number 14, money leads to happiness for myself and those around me. Number 15, there's plenty of money to go around. Number 16, it feels wonderful to have financial freedom and financial flexibility. How about that, people? You've got the power to create in your hands whatever you are looking for on a full moon. Stand outside or gaze in your window at night on a full moon. Create dress your candle your green candle and write that affirmation there okay let, let write your intent there and let it start to burn visualize visualize the money coming to you visualize money coming to you and start making affirmations make sure at the same time you cleanse your home so that you have those energies that align that align are in tune with the feng shui frequency so that the it makes it easy for you to attract the abundance that you need in your life and it makes it, it becomes easy for this abundance for that money to manifest itself in your life how about that blessed people i wish you the best of july and don't forget july is a month of letting go and a new moon is a new beginning a new phase a new era it is your birthright to get each and everything that you deserve, desire to have in your life. So now, right now, the old cycle has ended. The old cycle, the, pre the, the previous cycle has now ended. The whole stagnation through the corona and all that. Now the, ma the moon is in Cancer. We are in July. July is ruled by the, is the month of Cancer. So the moon is in Cancer and Cancer brings new beginnings, right? Banishing, letting go. You, you cannot continue to live in the same pattern and expect to get new results. You have to change something. And those changes, including money, including abundance, they all start with you changing yourself and changing the people that have been hanging around you. Because guess what? If you continue to be in, this, in the same cycle with the same old people who've been stagnating you, it doesn't matter how many spells you do, you're not going to get results. So it has to be a package. It has to be a package that works as one. Release those people. Decide to be by on your own. Surround yourself with people who are empowering you. Break off, banish all be, uh, patterns and, and, you know, to toxic karmic patterns and people from your life people who are not enhancing people who are not helping you to be the better or the higher version of yourself people who are who are taking your generosity for granted people who are taking you for granted in each and everything people who are not any any part of making you a better person or or to develop you as an individual so let all those anything that hasn't been serving you previously you have had enough time during the lockdown to reflect surely and you already know who these people are so it is high time that you block them from your phone 
it's a new dawn it's a new era you have the power you have the power to change your life success and and failure are it is your responsibility it is your responsibility not anybody's responsibility depending on what decisions you make the choices of people you decide to move with and how you choose to live your life and so you have to decide to live an intentional life in the description below i will write those formations again let me know your comments after trying this candle and and after trying this candle and visualizing for 21 days let me know it, it might even happen faster let me know you in the comments about the results that you come across after having done this spell all right all right guys make sure you subscribe and like my videos and have a great month of july many blessings and we are together